Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, what I thought I would do is have a look at a stash of books I picked up in Edinburgh, of all places, just recently. I'm very pleased to discover them. Pretty rare these days in bookshops and charity shops. Um, they are, of course, fighting fantasy. You may have seen them there. Here we are. This is... Oh, it's a beautiful sunny day, so hopefully... That's not too bright for you, but this is Crypt of the Sorcerer by Ian Livingstone. You can see that beautiful green spine there, number 26. Now, I'm going to reveal the prices I pay for these, and I have to admit, I did pay through the nose for these. They are quite expensive. So this was £13.50, which is a lot. It's got a beautiful map inside there, look. Um, it's in... Okay quality. The spine is broken, unfortunately, there. This one is the first edition, 1987. And very nice as well there. Let's have a look at another one here. Um, Freeway Fighter by Ian Livingstone again. One of the duo of the Fighting Fantasy series. Uh, published by Puffin and uh, the Penguin Children's Imprint. Number 13, you can see the spine is slightly faded here, unfortunately. Again, this was expensive, £13.50 up there. It's in slightly better condition than the other one. There's no broken spine, but this is not first edition. This is 1985, 12th imprint there, and uh, looking very nice. I do love this one. It's got some pretty brutal mechanics going on in this game, but... but um, Fantastic. Probably worth just showing you the um what have we got the character sheet here? Yeah. It's got this additional car character sheet there, look, with the missiles and the iron spikes. Very cool. Put that there. What else have we got in here? We have got appointment with fear. This is a a later print by wizards and uh steve jackson this one and um you become a superhero with this one i believe play a superhero their attempt at doing superhero it's got the this um this public this sequence of books published first published in 1985 this is the 2004 wizard books edition and it is ones where they have the dice at the bottom of the pages you see here you flip a page you get a two and a four six if you can't add up and that is there looking very nice it's not in bad condition again a bit of fading on the spine there unfortunately and then we've got another one here. This is Demons of the Deep, number 19, with that, that zigzaggy line along the top there, Adventure Game Books. And this is actually the best condition. It's a bit dirty along the spine, uh, but um, out of all the books I've got today, I think this is probably one of the nicest. The green there looks good. It's a bit faded, as I say, but um, not bad. Painting illustrations by Les Edwards, and this one is in really good condition. In fact, I don't think it's been written in there, it hasn't been written in. And this one is first edition 1986. There, fantastic! What a good year! Okay, let's look at the next one, right? So, we've got another one of those wizard prints, pretty good. Um, coloration on here it's a bit of wear on the cover here it's a bit glossy so you can get a bit of wear on there but not bad different covers uh, the Temple of Terror these wizard books they just basically printed this this fighting fantasy books inside just put different covers on them didn't change anything inside there's no new art or anything it's just a, a brand new branding on the outside and this one is a 1985 first edition copy by Ian Livingstone, that one. And then we have, what have we got next? We have got Rebel Planet. 
This again has got that zigzag across the top there, makes it slightly later. And unfortunately, the green on here is definitely faded. You can see that's the true green. This is the faded green, unfortunately. And you can see Rebel Planet Sci-Fi version, £13.50. This, these other ones were seven pounds, those other editions. These older ones, expensive. I did pay quite a lot for these. Okay, and this one's actually, internally, is in quite good condition. So it hasn't been written in. This is a, um, what edition is this here? This is 1985, first edition. The back green looks gorgeous. Not bad, Rebel Planet. And then um, we've got two more fighting fantasy. Bring those out first. We've got um, joyously Steve Jackson's sorcery. I do love these books. Now I need to check, but it looks like this is a misprint here. So this looks like this should be higher up. This top line here. These were written and aimed at a slightly older market. They had a separate spell book, which you could access. All the, uh, in t all the artworks by John Blanche, which makes it very character characterful and unusual, which I love. Look at that. That is one strange creature. The writing's slightly smaller. It's a bit more fiddly, really like it. The spell system is like the first of its kind. It's fantastic. The Shamutanti heels. And it's got an orange cover to distinguish it from the green cover of the normal books. Uh, still a, it's still a, a puffin book. Really beautiful, slightly bigger as well. You can see the slice size is slightly, slightly bigger there. Fantastic. And then we have book three, Steve Jackson. Slightly different cover, this one, probably from a different print. Um, slightly faded spine with a bit of broken spine, unfortunately. Sorcery, Seven Serpents. I think this was the final book. This was £9. The previous one was £11.50. Quite dear. That fighting fantasy there and the red logo, giving it a di different feel. Clearly separate it from the original fighting fantasy books. And here we have the adventure sheet. All the same stuff basically. Uh, again, just more text, and we're looking at something you know larger entries like that there, which maybe slightly older market would be interested in. More tricky puzzles. This, these are these were hard books. Oh, there's a little wages slip at the back here. <laughs> Rodney uh, got paid thirty five pounds and twenty five pence. His wages for two twenty three and a half hours. Look at that there. That's a while back. That must be around about the time this was released. I used to get a pay slip like that when I worked in a sports shop when I was younger. 1984. This is the 11th print. Look at that. Fantastic. So those are all the all the fighting fantasy books we got with this. Came to about oh about 85 pounds. Pretty intense. Probably paid over the odds, but to be honest, I don't see them very often, so I tend to grab them when I can. And then there was just one final book that I picked up here. Uh, so I'm collecting these, which is Ian M. Banks. Fearsome Engine. So, obviously slightly different spelling for Fearsome Engine. Fascinating cover. I love these covers. I do love the Mind um, books, uh, his, his sci-fi world. They're all individual off one-off stories, but some do connect a bit. Um, they're very, very well written. He tries different things with the text sometimes, uh, point of view stuff, and um, £3.50. 
I'm going to read this one and um, collect this particular print by Orbit. I love this design. These they're they're very they pick one color and then they incorporate it into the actual uh, smooth got these smooth illustrations. A very cool design. But this I thought was in okay condition. The spine's been folded back a little bit, and there's a little bit of damage at the bottom here but not too bad so that was a little bonus this was a surprise thing these I was coming out of the shop with just this book and then I spotted these guys on a shelf and had to have them give them a home so guys I hope you found that interesting if you did can you please click the subscribe we're, we're a, a small channel and I'm looking to grow share my interests I just enjoy talking and showing this stuff off I'm a big collector, as you know, so don't forget to click the thumbs up. And if you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you very much.